Welcome back. The damn ghost walked away after I stopped the video. Gonna have to find him again. There he is. Sir! I think if you keep giving him salt water, he'll eventually uh, get annoyed and kill you or something. What do you want? Although I'm not entirely sure. I wish to give this to you, Traveler. Is it truly sweet water, lady? Could Indeed it really it is. be? I thought my thirst would torture me forever. How can I thank you? Can you help me escape this desert? I do not know how to open the portal. But there is something I can do. Follow me. It's his corpse. Is... is that... Yes. That is all that remains of Colin Farwalker. The great adventurer. He... Oh, I I'm so sorry. Don't be. Your gift of water has given me peace. We must hurry. I haven't much time left on this earthly plane. I wish to give you something. There's two options here. A rope, which sounds useful, but this has a picture of a bug on it, and I'm thinking of that bug in the temple, the scorpion. I thank you, good sir. May it help you in your journeys, my lady. Farewell. Although I think there is actually an alternate solution to that puzzle if you use the rope. I'm using the, this thing though, which is uh, buck reducing powder. That's an awfully weird thing for him to be carrying around. Unless, of course, he came here specifically with the intention of getting in that temple and knew there would be a giant scorpion. And procured this from a wizard or something before he travels to this land, but then unfortunately met his end about 200 meters before he reached his destination. Something else here, too. A hunting horn. Can we blow that? Oh dear, the horn is clogged with sand. Ugh. <sighs> oh. Ugh, oh, being long-winded comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> sure. Can you blow it now? That is loud. Alright, let's head back. And see if now we can get into that, uh, temple. Because that would be useful, if we could. If you wait too long here, the scorpion will also kill you. But again, you can just uh, use the retry option. I'm just going to show that. I didn't know he gave you... Apparently he doesn't kill you if you just wait. Maybe you can try to move past him. Stay away! No! Stop! Yeah, that's gonna work. 
pouch. I've got to find a way to get rid of that horrible thing, or at least distract it for a while. Well, we can shrink it. Hopefully. Actually, a regular-sized scorpion is still kind of dangerous, but unfortunately it ran away. We can't go uh, to where it came from. But there is some kind of altar here. That eye looks like it could open further. That eye looks... Yeah. It's a very unhappy sun god or whatever. I guess this was made by the same people who made that statue. Hmm. There's only one thing we can manipulate here, which is this drop-shaped thing. Ooh. I remember this from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. There's a couple of gems. Which we can't take with us. That's annoying. We can, however, put them into the sunbeam. Hmm. That doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Where do we put the last one? Uh, how about here? That worked! We found an arrow! Turquoise piece. Could that help us open the door? In which case, we don't even need the piece from... Uh, the... Uh, offering ball? Let's go and try that out. Although I'm thinking it's probably not going to be that simple. Hey, wait. Something changed here. That gourd burst open. How strange. The gourd split in the sun. It looks like there's a loose seed in there. A gourd seed. Can we plant that and have an instantly grown gourd plant or whatever that plant is called? I'm not sure. Apparently not. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Let's see if our arrow does the trick. It looks like something is supposed to fit in there. Yes, and this thing doesn't. It's too small. So I guess we do need the piece from the offering bowl after all. We still don't have anything we can uh, use there. But maybe that rat could trade us something. But in order to do that, we need to uh, get rid of the jackalope. Hmm. Well, not really get rid of him. We need to get the glasses back. Anyway. How could we do that? I have an idea. I learned this from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Who tends to do it when Elmer Fudd or whoever is uh, listening on the other end of the hole? Here it comes, you little fiend. Serves you right. Ha <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Yes, you did. And we got the glasses. He also seemed to have lost some of his fur on the cactus. 
God knows what we'll use that for, but this is still an adventure game, so anything that you can pick up, we do pick up. Fairly ordinary uh, pair of specs. The wonder where he got them made. There are spec savers nearby here. And some jackalope fur. Yeah, well, what did you expect? That he would become your friend after doing that? Alright, let's see if we can help that poor rat. This is all I have to say. Go away! Go away! We brought your glasses. Here you are. Oh joy! Oh joy! Oh happy me! I can see! I can see! Thanks to you, I'm not afraid. Now I'm free to deal and trade. And so we can trade things. I don't really want to trade the comb, but maybe he knows something about Rosella, so let's try that. The lovely lady shows me gold. How would you like some fine blue mold? No. No, thank you. I don't want to trade this. You see, it belongs to my daughter. Have you seen her? Hmm, a princess fair with golden hair? Yes, have you seen my Rosella? Seen her, lady? Sadly, no. But I hear tales from winds that blow from far away, from the west. My sources are the very best. They tell me that the brave troll king has lost his heart and given a ring to a lovely princess he plans to wed. A foreign princess, it is said. A foreign princess? Well, that could be her. Do you know anything more? To find out more, you'll have to go beyond the woods and far below. Hmm. Well, it could actually match anyone, that description, but apparently um, we're supposed to assume that's Rosella. And getting married to a troll king is probably not what she had in mind when jumping into that puddle. But then, serves her right for jumping into a puddle, I suppose. Let's see if this um, rat has something else uh, we can trade with him. Oh. Apparently, I shouldn't wait that long. Would you like to trade with me? You won't believe what you will see. Well, hopefully you have something better to offer than some mold. Pretty piece of silky cloth. Here, I'll go get my best dead moth. Don't bother, please. Quite. What a skillful work of clay. I'll trade you a bale of moldy hay. No, thank you. But that's a simply smashing stick. How about a fat deer tick? <laughs> you? Uh, uh, I mean, no, thank you. I don't really want to trade this, but anyway. Oh my, a stunning turquoise shape. Would you accept a shriveled grape? Oh, I don't think so. Shriveled grape, isn't that basically a raisin? What a lovely wrinkled seed. For that, I'll offer this blue bead. That sounds like a good deal. Anything else? What a charming woven basket. Let me find my silk-lined casket. What? No, that's all right. Why does he even have that? A mighty horn of tarnished brass. Uh, would you take a box of broken glass? Ah, uh, I think not. Yuck! Fur from that horrid beast. I don't want it in the least. Can't say I blame him. Does he want his bead back? It's my lovely turquoise bead. Let me get a thorny weed. I think I'll keep the bead. Yeah, we just got it. A juicy, sticky, spiky fruit. Uh, would you like a chewed on boot? Oh, no. No, 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 thank you. Did you chew on it or someone else? 
I don't even want to know. Mmm, a tasty grain of salt. Uh, will you take a chocolate mold? Tempting, but no thank you. I'm trying to watch my figure. Ah, uh, oh well. I guess that will uh, have to do. And we'll continue in the next video.